So it's part five of the Menace to Amiga format series and this time we are going to try and fix the corruption in the graphics that we're getting. We got the collision detection working last week and as you can see there's like stuff appearing on the screen like lines and things like that that are flicking around. Ooh, am I going to get something? Yeah, I got something. And then stuff will appear on the screen. So I think that's the... I think that's the aliens leaving behind stuff on the screen there. So I think really the problem is, is the same problem we had last week with the collision detection. And it's the fact that the blitz are not waiting. And I think that's just basically because back in the day on the A500, by the time you got around to doing the next blit, the blitter had already finished. But on a faster machine or with a faster processor, that's not necessarily true. So I think the problem here is if we just because we're running a 68 or 20, um, some of the blitz are getting stomped over by previous blitz. So that's all we need to fix. This should be quite quick. We already did last week. I made a little macro that could just wait for the blitter. What we've got to do is just go through and find all of the blitz size. When you write to blitz size, when you write to this or this or this, that is starting a blitz and then it does something and then it immediately starts writing to the blitter registers again. So really you can't write to any of these blitter registers if there's a blit going and there's no way that it knew that that one had finished. It just didn't, it's just it was going to have finished on an A500 or it blocked the processor for long enough for it to finish. So ideally we just want to go through all these blit size calls or these blit size writes and make sure that the blitter has finished when they start. And what we really want to do is instead of waiting after it's finished, we want to wait before we start because then there's a very good chance the blitter's already finished by then. Where is it? There's only 19, it's very small text down here, but there's only 19 matches to this in the whole source. So really all we've got to do is go through this and insert appropriate blitter weights into the code. And hopefully that should fix our problems. So if I go to the first one, um, if we take this one for instance, so that starts the blitter there, but we also wrote to a blitter register there and wrote to a blitter register there. So really we want to put the weight like here um, before we start writing to the register. So when we do call this, there's a very good chance the blitter's already finished. And the same thing when we get down past here, there's another write that starts, but there's also register used there, register used there. But this add, there's not a blitter register, so we can actually put the weight just before this bit, just before this line here, and allow that add a chance to go while the blitter's running. So we're just going to go through all 19 of these, and if we can put all the weights in, hopefully we get our game back and there's the one we actually inserted last week and this one did actually have to come right after the starting of the blitter because that starts it there we had to wait there because the next line was actually testing the result of that blitz so we actually had to put in a wait straight away in theory you could return from the subroutine and put the wait after that but then i have to go through everywhere this is called and do it so we've, we've got one out of the 19 in fact this one needs one before as well so maybe we need an extra one but let's go to the amiga the, the blitter starts there, but we're writing registers here. So we want a blitter. So I've got a macro to do this now. So we want blitter wait just there. That's all I've got to do. Same thing down here after the add. That's OK. We'll do blitter wait. It does that. It does that. It does that. It, it starts the right there. Then it doesn't add. Then it starts writing to the registers again. So we do a blitter wait there. So we've got three in already. Let's just keep going. Fine blitz size. So I think you kind of get the idea here. So I'll probably speed this bit up and and then you get to uh, listen to a piece of music while we shove all these in. Here's the next one. Let's catch them all. And let's just do one more before we go to full speed. But there's the right to the blitter to start it. There's a blitter register, blitter register, blitter register. And I think we want to wait here. Right. So I'm just going to go through and just keep doing that. Um, oh, fact in here, you can see the next one is the blitter registers are being used straight away afterwards. So we've actually got to wait there as well. I hope that's my name of my macro, blitter wait, otherwise I've done this wrong. Right, I'll just do that 19 times and then we'll run the game and we see what we get.
Right, there we go. So that's all 19, I think, of those done. There's actually 20 because there's one extra where I had to wait for the collision detection one. So there's technically 20 flitter weights in there now, I think. And that looks like it's assembled, so it didn't have any problem with that. I'm glad I wrote that macro now. So let's just give it a go. Here we are. And no, it's still there. So we're still getting, we're still getting some corruption. Is it any better than it was before? No, it's still, it's still failing. In fact, it might actually be worse. Let me double check my work. We'll delete what we've got on the disk. There. If I delete this, I know. I'm going to go back to it. I'm deleting Menace. Let's make sure it compiles it again. I'm just not quite trusting that that actually compiled anything. It probably did, but uh, we will see. Here we go. No, it's definitely still corrupt. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a little bit there. Yeah, I don't think that's improved. Has it improved anything at all? No, nah, this bit was the same, wasn't it? Where it was corrupting the backgrounds here. Oh, look at that one. He left a big streak. Right, so either I've missed something or that wasn't the correct fix. I thought this was going to be a short episode, but already failed. Right, let's double check again. Yeah, I wonder if there's some random writes to the blitter registers that... I'm not accounting for. Oh, there's another one there. I missed one. Okay, here's another one. Let's try it with that. There's one I missed. Let's assemble. Assemble. So I missed one. Could be more I missed, but let's try that. Oh, still got corruption. Is it improving? don't know the corruption looks the same to me so I missed one before maybe I've missed more oh hang on that's wrong because there's a there's a right to a blitter pointer there so this has got to go before that so that was wrong too oh there's another one here yeah missed one so there's another one I missed. <laughs> I thought I got this right at the start, but obviously hadn't. Oh no, wait a minute, and there's another one. Because it's writing to registers again straight away there. There's another one. Missed that one too? Oh, I missed so many. That's it. Right. Let's assemble again. Here we go. Run. Are we going to get anything better no it's still it's still there I saw it it's changed though hasn't it no no it's still pretty bad actually has it got has it improved or I'm just getting lucky no that's the same so it's it's possible there are some random rights to blitter registers that could be anywhere in the code now and that's a real problem because that means that's going to be quite hard to track down because there's lots of different blitter registers. I'll have to go through and do a search for all the blitter registers and find out where they've been used. Right, it will require some more investigation. So this is not as short an episode as I thought. I thought this would be dead easy. Uh, so I had a quick look and it's only been a few minutes actually. And uh, I, f I was just looking for the Blitcon Zero register to see if that's being used anywhere else outside of that stuff that I was looking at and oh, there's the first one I found look there's a function called setup blit which writes to blitcon zero so unfortunately this would also have to have a blit await stuck in the top of there um, let's just see if there's anything else where it's just checking blitcon zero is kind of one of the registers just see if blitcon zero has been used anywhere else that I don't know about that's got a blit await save backgrounds yeah the blitter modulo is being written there so it needs one there too there's one what's this one? Oh no draw bobs <laughs> there's another one but unfortunately draw bobs is going to have to one at the start because that's writing to blitter registers as well 
split await. So just looking at the size thing wasn't good enough because we've got functions being called as well. Erase missiles. No. I need to blit await there. Yeah, so I put the blit await down there. But actually, we've already done. No, we need one there as well because that's a loop. So we need one there where it sets it up and we need one inside the loop as well. That's got a blit await and there's no more. Right, let's go again. Let's Avengers Assemble and see if we get anything better. So yeah, we're definitely writing to the registers without waiting for the blitter. So I don't know if I've caught all of these, but here we go again. And the answer is no, <laughs> it's still do it's still going. It's not really even actually improved, has it? Uh, no. So there's got to be more. Wow, that streak there is crazy. Well, so I'll, I'll maybe look for some other registers and see what I can find. Because I'm just searching for Blitcon 1 here, but there might be other ones. Don't know. Right, okay. I'll stop the video and uh, we'll have another look. Okay, so I have found another one. Here's one in Restore Backgrounds, which we know the bug is in the background. So there's one here where it writes to the Blitter A modulo, is that? And we need to wait there because we can't write to that register until we know that we've finished using it. Uh, and then it goes down here and then it fetches the blitz size, does a lot of stuff. And that means that that there's a blitter wait there. But do we have a loop here? We do. So we've got to wait again there, which is a bit unfortunate. So yeah, there's one there that I've just missed. So that was in Restore Backgrounds. Let's quickly check to see if that is the only problem left. So we've got one more there. Don't know how many. I'm just searching for BLT now. Bacon Lessed Smarto Blitter. I'm searching for BLT and every time I see one, I'm just looking to see if there's a, you know, a correct Blitter weight next to it. And, and, oh no, we've still got it. Okay, so there must be more. I don't think anything's really improved. So let's continue down from here Let's look for, yeah, BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Here's one, what's this? Draw bobs, oh yeah, that one has been accounted for. Oh, BLT increase, <laughs> branch on less than, <laughs> didn't realize that. Oh, there's one, draw aliens. Oh, that could be our problem. Needs a bit of weight. Let's just try again there because it's the aliens that got the problem and we just found one of the problems in Draw Aliens. Maybe I should have looked at that first. Here we go. And... And... No. There it is. <laughs> it's like, so there's more. There's got to be more. Assuming this is our problem. Yeah, not much change there. Right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find another one. That's the one we just did. Uh oh. Now I think that one's okay because we've... It depends if there's an actual right to the blitter in here because we've got draw bobs and then draw next two. So there could be... We'll just put one there to be sure. There's definitely a right there. Let's try that one as well. Because I know this is like... We've got problems in the alien function so it could be that. Is it slightly improved? Not much. We're definitely getting sections here, like where there's no corruption, then you get a load of it. Let's keep going. Um, that one's got a blitter weight in it. That's got a blitter weight in it. That's got a blitter weight in it. There's one right before that. That's branch on less than. And that's okay because it's not drawn and it's not used that draw function yet. There it's drawn. Then we wait. That's okay. Then we wait again. Then we wait again. There is a branch to subroutine in there. That could be doing it. But we'll find that if we keep searching. And then we wait. That's the collision detection. There's a wait there. And that's all okay because that's the that's the using the blitter, so that's okay. Raising the missiles. 
that's good. That's okay. That's okay. And that's it. So, well, unless I'm missing something, we've got our blitter weights in here. We still got graphics being corrupted. What's the deal? Why are we still getting graphics not working? It's definitely the aliens and it's definitely the background. Oh no, that's in the foreground layer. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, sorry, that is that those graphics being corrupted are in the foreground and those ones are in the background as well. So we're getting corruptions on both layers. So I wonder if this the the butter weight isn't actually the problem at all. I'm going to have to double check again, aren't I? Because I've definitely missed something. Right. Let me get back to you. We'll see if we fixed it this time. Well. Would you look at that? I believe this is working. And the funny thing is, I haven't actually changed that much code. I think something weird was going on in DevPack and I don't think it was saving the file. Because I then I started to like comment out the process aliens to see, or the draw aliens, to see if drawing the aliens was actually causing the problem. And when I did that, nothing changed and it still drew the aliens. And something weird had gone on in DevPack and it, I think it was compiling file that hadn't changed or was assembling a file that hadn't changed. So I reopened dev pack and just started again and then it was okay. I, I didn't understand it but I, I don't know if you saw that before but what was actually happening was I had to move one of the methods because one of the methods is trying to get a pointer to something inside the program and I think the displacement had gone just a bit larger than it could do because I think it's a 16-bit offset or something. So because of all the blitter weights being inserted that offset must have just gone over 16 bits. So I just moved the function one function down and it's compiling it or it's assembling again now. There we go. I've basically, I don't know when that got fixed then because it wasn't actually assembling the file that I was changing. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Let's see if we can get the guy in the end, but it looks like it's, looks like it's done. Uh, at least I fixed the um, blitter problem. So it was just waiting for the blitter. I've put a blitter weight in more than just those 19 places. There's quite a few more than that, I think. Uh, there might be an extra odd one here and there that we probably don't need. But nonetheless, this is basically the Menace code fully functional on working on what is the equivalent of an Amiga 1200 with 4 megabytes of fast RAM. And it's as functional as it was when uh, it was in Amiga 4 byte, except we haven't got CPU caches turned off. They are turned on. And... Um, Nothing's been nerfed, the machine hasn't been changed. This is just functional. So there we go, and I've finished the level. Let's have a look. There's obviously no sound effects in this. The sound effects were never put into the Amiga format version. And that's it, and it just quits at the end. So yeah, that's that's it. That's the end of uh, this episode. We are actually back to having the Amiga format stuff fixed, but on the Amiga 1200. So that's, that's pretty cool. We're back, we're back where we should have been if you were just reading the article back in the day. So if you do want to follow along with the Amiga Format article, you know, in modern times, this would probably be the code to start from because at least this is functional. And I suppose you could do a part seven to the article saying, this is why it doesn't work on the 6820. Or at least so it was just the start up and shut down that didn't work. Uh, there was a missing compiler directive. There was some blitter weights missing. And then there we are, it's, it's functional again. So yeah, and this is all with the CPU cache turned on, so it's all running as fast as it can. Hey, that's pretty cool. It's been resurrected and fixing 36-year-old bugs. But it's funny that the Amiga 500 just didn't need that stuff. It just didn't need it. It wasn't fast enough um, for the blitter to be stalled. Uh, for the CPU, the CPU was stalled long enough, but by the time the next blit came along, it didn't work. And even in that case where the next line was checking the blitter result, it never actually managed to, CPU never actually managed to get anything done before the blitter finished. Hey, look at that. I'll poke this code into GitHub and uh, we'll move on. I don't know what we'll do in the next episode. We can start changing the game or adding sound effects or just doing other stuff too. That's pretty cool. Excellent. Right. Catch you in the next one.